So even though we're far away, I think everyone in Greensboro can connect to what's going on. That connection drove Rabbi Eliezer Snyderman to hand deliver two duffel bags full of supplies the Greensboro Jewish Federation collected to a Ukrainian refugee center in Lublin. It's like a steady stream of, of people coming in. Um, it's There's no men, it's women, some with children, but a lot of single women, they, their families are somewhere else. And they're coming in, picking up bags of, of food and, uh, you know, clothing and light and leaving. It was, it was a steady stream of people. The need is greater than what Rabbi Snyderman and a group of Chabad on campus university students from across the country arrived with. They immediately started fundraising amongst themselves and on social media. And we went to a store and got uh, $3,000 worth of food, more, more, uh, more, like I don't know, 13 giant shopping carts worth of food, piled it into the bus and took it to the refugee center. More than $4,000 funded food for refugees. The group was told it would only last about three days. In, in Poland right now, all the hotels are full of Ukrainian refugees, even hotels that are usually empty, they're packed. And there's just, there's a lot of refugees all over the place. Every corner in Warsaw has a box with, um, that says on it in Polish and in Ukrainian donations. Um, and people are just putting stuff, um, every hotel, um, left rooms for people to come and people are actually coming in and paying, putting down money and saying if the Ukrainian family comes, please give them the night here to stay. A new mission to provide for people struggling to survive a war, a detour in a journey that will have a lasting impact on these students. Yesterday morning we went to uh, Madonic, which was a concentration camp. And when you see the absolute bottom of humanity's capabilities, and there's sadness throughout that, and there's just a lot of heavy feelings. And then later that night, to, to be the best of humanity, even after such a heavy day, I, I think was a really beautiful moment of yesterday, something that I think none of us will forget, going from the absolute worst to the absolute best in all of us. And you really feel how the society is saying, okay, things happened here before, and now we're saying never again. And